Recently I had the good fortune to meet up with a few families from here in the Pacific Northwest. Each of these families has a child who was born without any fingers on one of their hands, and the purpose of our visit was to get together so that, that I could teach the families how to build a device for their own child. Two of these families had already learned how to build an earlier version of the device, and for one of these families, it was their very first time learning how to build a device of this type. All of the members of each of these families were all able to take part in this process, and by the end of the meetup, each family had succeeded in building a device. In addition to the families succeeding in this task, this entire process was very exciting because it appears to be something that might be able to grow itself. Parents who learn to build devices for their own children can then take that knowledge and teach other parents that are interested in doing the same thing for theirs. For two of the families at this meetup, it wasn't actually their first time building a device. They had both worked with me previously to learn how to build an earlier version of the hand. And the members of those families that had been involved in the process helped to teach the third family, who was completely new to building one of these, how to build the hand for their child. So it was very beautiful to see the families that had already learned some of these steps transferring that knowledge to a family that was new to the process. Since all of the family members were involved, including the kids that would be using the devices, this represents something very neat for the, for the children themselves because they got to have an active role in building their hand and have that sense of personal pride that they helped to create the device that they're using. Now that 3D printers are becoming more accessible, all three of these families have a means to get, gain access to a printer to be able to produce the parts for future hands. One of the families has purchased a low-cost printer to keep at home and they're learning how to use it. The other two are locating printers within their community for, for the future hands that they'll need to build for their kids. This being the case, when their child outgrows a hand, they'll be able to print a new one and assemble it for about $50 in materials cost, plus the time that they put into the process. Of course, the time that they put into the process is not something that's really factored in because all of us that our parents know, we already automatically spend tons of times on the things that we do for our children. In order to address any potential safety concerns, all of these families are making sure to keep their doctors in the loop to review the devices that they build and make sure that there isn't anything that's going to cause problems for their child. It will be exciting to watch as time goes by and see the number of families that learn to do this and then also teach it to others that are interested. The families here in the Pacific Northwest have all been inspired by this, and they now have a desire to go back to the different cities that they live in to locate people in their area and then to share this knowledge with them so that they can continue to spread it to people that could benefit from it. It's a very beautiful thing that by learning to do this for themselves, they will eventually be able to do the same thing for others. You know what I like about doing this together? So we get to meet other families. Yeah. This is amazing. It's just weird. You don't feel so alone, yeah. you know? There you go. Good job. <laughs>